Afternoon sports fans, um, welcome to uh, White Hart Lane once again. Uh, it seems like we've uh, <laughs> been living there the last five weeks. Um, I'm giving a report today and it's an after-match report, not a pre-match report. But before I talk about today's game, uh, last uh, week we played Millwall City in the FA Cup quarter-final. Um, they didn't really give um, much of a game and um, Spurs ran out 6-0 winners. Now I'd uh, previously said that uh, I expected um, Chelsea, Tottenham, Arsenal and Man City to make the uh, semi-finals and they did. And I've also gone on record as saying that uh, Spurs are going to face Arsenal in the cup final. Now most of you think that this is a bit of a pipe dream but there is a possible reality of that happening. Uh, I think Arsenal will raise their game against Man City, even though they can't seem to win in the league at the moment. And I'll talk about that in a, in a, in a little while. And uh, I think that we will also beat Chelsea. And then we will have our first all London Spurs v Arsenal Cup final. Now, on to today's game. Um, Spurs um, had, up until today, a uh, almost a 100% uh, home record this season where they've won 12 and drawn only two. We all know that Harry Kane is out injured so we needed to see how Son or even if Vincent, Jan Vincent was going to play today. They played Son because uh, he scored um, a hat-trick last week so um, we faced uh, Southampton who were always going to be a tough game for us. Now we played fantastic in the first half and we're 2-0 up what happened in the second half, I do not know, but Spurs seemed to stand still. And uh, they gave away a sloppy goal after about uh, nine or 10 minutes, uh, which brought Southampton back into the game. Somehow Spurs managed to hold on and uh, they ran out 2-1 winners. So we now have uh, 13 uh, home wins and only two draws. Uh, I think we've done 10 home game wins in a row, which is a bit of a record. As we all know, uh, Chelsea won yesterday, and uh, before today's game, they're 13 points ahead. So now it's only 10. I don't believe that Spurs will catch Chelsea, and I do, and I do believe that they're just going to win the league, and that's it. But uh, Spurs need to um, hold on to second place, um, and after today's game, uh, there's Man City against Liverpool. So the ideal result of that one would be a draw. Now, as we all know. Arsenal lost again yesterday and uh, Spurs are now nine points ahead. Not that Arsenal are even a yardstick because I think that we can forget about Arsenal because they seem to be going down at the moment. Uh, well, downhill that is. Uh, they don't seem to know what they're doing. There's no, there's no cohesion in their team. They don't seem to be playing for their manager. And uh, I think we're all waiting to see whether uh, Arsene Wenger signs a new contract or not. So watch this space. I um, took a few photos of the development of uh, White Hart Lane. It's uh, coming on really well. So Spurs' next game at White Hart Lane will be against Watford. Uh, I think it's on April the 8th. So I look forward to um, speaking to you before that. Um, and this is uh, Peter Christie Mobile today uh, with an aftermatch report. Um, talkingforsportsforsports.co.uk